Most people with AS don't need surgical treatment, but actually uh, quite a few will end up requiring surgical treatment to a hip, and a very few will require surgery to the spine. About 25% of people, one in four with AS, do have inflammation at one or both hips, and sometimes that can be really aggressive uh, and cause damage. Now, if we treat them early enough, we may be able to minimize that, but this is something which may occur early in adult life uh, and require hip replacement. Hip replacement surgery is usually very successful, but of course there is always a balance to be struck. One may want the hip replaced when one's young and active, uh, but the younger one is when a hip is replaced, the more likely is that it will wear out and need to be done again sometime later on a hip revision, as it is known. And of course, all surgery carries risks, not least the possibility that there might be infection occur at the site of the uh, hip replacement. If we're talking in terms of treatment which may make infections more likely, then of course, that's an additional risk. Having said that, for most people, this is a successful and useful process. Even now, a few people develop a terrific curvature of the spine, a dreadful stoop. And the consequence of that is partly that it makes balancing difficult, but more importantly, it makes it impossible to keep eye contact in com ordinary conversation, in everyday life. And if you can't make eye contact in everyday life, you begin to become isolated and separated from it. And, a and some people with this condition simply stop going out. I've known of patients who no longer went to school with their children because they couldn't bear to be unable to communicate. So f failure to uh, uh, be able to keep eye contact and social isolation is a good reason for considering uh, spinal surgery. NICE recommends spinal surgery in these very specific circumstances. Of course, it's, it's a big deal and people will need to think about it very carefully. Sometimes it's a good idea even to talk to someone else who's undergone spinal surgery to help clarify the mind as to what's to be done. If it is done, usually the surgery takes place lower in the spine, not necessarily at the bit of the spine that's most curved, because that's the safest place to do it. Uh, and there's no doubt that for those who've had a spinal operation to straighten the spine, I've seen the most satisfying results. People have come to tell me a month after their operation how wonderful it is to be able to look at people full in the face again. And for those people who've suffered and been isolated in this way, the outcomes of surgery can be quite startlingly good.